very good day to you and welcome to the program. Are you running from God? You say, no. Are you sure? Because God has tested me this morning and He said to me in the early hours of this morning, don't run from the only person in the whole world that can help you. And that's Jesus. In the Garden of Gethsemane, the disciples ran away from the only person on earth that could have helped them. Sounds foolish, doesn't it? They ran away from God to save themselves. How many of us are doing that today? You are running away. Why? No, we're going to a safer place. Where's the safer place? No, well, I'm going overseas. Really? Is it safer there? Do you really believe that? I don't believe that. I believe the safest place to be is in the, right in the permitted will of God for your life. That's the safest place to be on earth. I really believe that with all my heart. If we go to the book of Jonah, Jonah chapter 1, we'll see that Jonah was told by God to go to Nineveh and preach the gospel because he wanted to cause a mighty revival that would save the whole city. It was a massive city, by the way. Jonah didn't want to do it. He had no desire for the people of Nineveh. He didn't want them to be saved. And so he decided to run away. So he went down to Joppa, which is the oldest seaport in the whole world. I've been to Joppa. It's over 10,000 years old. He got on a ship heading for Tarshish. And what happened? Well, it tells you clearly in Jonah chapter 1. Let's just look at verse 3. But Jonah arose to flee to Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. He went down to Joppa and found a ship going to Tarshish. And so he paid the fare and went down into it to go with them to Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. You cannot run from God. I've got a word for somebody watching this program. God called you a long time ago to do a certain specific task for Him. God wants to ask you the question today, why have you not done it? No, well, I didn't have enough money. Well, I couldn't get around to it. No, because I didn't fit. No, no more excuses. The Lord's speaking to you again today. He says, I'm calling you one more time. Go back and do what I told you to do at first, and then things will go well with you. How is it with you at the moment? No, it's, it's a hectic, Angus. I'm in a storm. The same storm that Jonah was in. Jonah got into a storm when, the, when that ship left that the mariners, the seamen, the ex experienced seamen knew there was something wrong. This kind of storm they'd never encountered before. They said somebody on this ship has caused this problem. And then eventually, of course, they identified Jonah. We go to verse, um, verse 10. The men knew that Jonah had fled from the presence of the Lord because he had told them. Verse 12. Jonah said, pick me up and throw me into the sea. Then the sea will become calm for you. For I know that this great tempest is because of me. You can't fight with God. You say, no, I just want to go to Tasmania. Or I want to go to some place out of the way and just be quiet and have a normal life. It won't be like that. You know why? Because the tempest is inside you. It's not in the country. The problem wasn't with those mariners, those seamen. They didn't cause the storm. The storm was caused by Jonah's disobedience to God. When you start to obey God, then peace comes to you. If you look at verse 9 of chapter 2 of the book of Jonah, this is what it says. Jonah said, I will pay what I have vowed. Salvation is of the Lord. If you want peace in your heart, start to do what God has told you to do and you will have peace. You can be anywhere in the world and you'll have that peace because the Prince of Peace will be living inside of you. My dear friend, a word from God. Stop running and start to listen to God. Goodbye.